What type of gas is absorbed by plants? Carbon dioxide. Menace. Sammy is correct, but I wrote down hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking my daughter some trivia questions. This is a, an idea that came up in one of our meetings. Yep. My daughter's 11 years old. She's in fifth grade. And so we're going to see how she does with stuff that she's learning in school awesome. compared to uh, Menace and Sammy. Okay. Love it. Cool. So my 11-year-old daughter <laughs> answering uh -huh. some questions. And mm -hmm. she was psyched to do it. She's like, can I tell all my friends I'm going to, I'm going to be on the show? Aww. <laughs> nice. <Not you. laughs> She's a ham, man. <laughs> she gets it from her mother. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I have those questions for you next. Trivia questions with my daughter. I'm excited. That's awesome. Now, these are, uh, some, of the, some of these I got directly from, because she just brought home, like, every couple of weeks, they bring home, like, a, a whole packet of their homework that's been graded. Okay. And so you can see how, you know, they're doing it. Um, something turned out. Yeah. So I, I went back, and I actually grabbed some stuff from her homework. So it's, like, oh. fifth grade homework stuff. So this is literally, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Uh, this is an idea, like I mentioned before the break, that came up in one of our meetings. And somebody said, you know, it might be fun. <laughs> what if you asked your daughter some of these trivia questions? Nice. And to see how Menace and Sammy would stack up All right. Right. <laughs> against my 11-year-old fifth grader. Wow. And so Are that's, you smarter than I love fifth this grader. idea. And so, uh, and so that's what we've done here. Awesome. Uh... Just talked to her yesterday. These are fresh. Some of them are directly from the homework packet that she brought home from okay. some of her homework over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And now, Menace, you're 42, 43. How old 43, are you? I think. <laughs> I believe you're 43. 43. Yeah. I don't know. Sammy's 36. Right. My daughter is adorable and 11. 11. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, we're just going to try to guess. If uh, Menace and Sammy will get it, okay? Kind of right. like DUIQ. All right. So we're okay. not going to guess if your daughter gets it. No, no, no. Because, I mean, you know, these are these are like fifth and fourth grade level stuff. So if she gets it wrong, I mean, it can be expected. Okay. She's right. only, you know. I expect her to get them all correct. Uh, Well, spoiler alert, she does not. Okay. okay. She's not getting them all right. But she's just learning this stuff. I'm that's, have no idea right. if she's right thing. or not. <laughs> See, some of them right. All right, so uh, here we go. Question number one. How many stripes are on the American flag? Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, really how many stripes good. are on the American flag? Some of these have follow-up questions, too. Ah, okay. okay. Just so you know. All right, uh, Greg, what do you think? Um, that's a, Okay, we're not guessing your daughter, so I'm going to say double no. All right, double no. Mm -hmm. Ravy? Agreed. Double no. Uh, I'm going to say, hmm. I'm going to say that uh, double yes. Okay. I like the faith. I'm going double yes on this one. I feel, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we've had this one on a DUIQ as well. Yeah, that matters not. Okay. Yeah. Also, exactly. also <laughs> fair. Also fair. All right, here we, we go. We could have done it last week. And it How many stripes it. are on the American flag? Menace. Menace. Uh, 19. 19. 13. 13 is the nice. okay. correct Sammy answer. The follow-up okay. question, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. it's the 13 colonies is what they stand for? Yeah. We were going to ask mm -hmm. Menace to see if he knew oh, that. Sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> you could jump, you could jump yeah, the gun. 13 colonies. You like Friday Spoilers. the 13th. You could jump the gun if you yeah. want. All right, here's my daughter. How many stripes are on the American flag? Twelve. Wait, no. Not 12. 13 because the uh, 13 colonies, I'm guessing. Correct. 13. Now, who was it? that the 13 colonies were declaring their independence from? Follow-up question. Menace. From the British? Sammy. Yes, from the British. From the British. Okay. All right. Well, there weren't mm -hmm. 19 stripes. There no. were 13. Yeah. That'd be a really interesting looking flag. Mm. <laughs> Representing yeah. the 13 OG colonies, they were declaring their independence from the British. Did my yeah. daughter know it? Now, who was it? that the 13 colonies were declaring their independence from? Follow-up question. From the British. Uh -huh. All right. British. She Good. is adorable. Good. Proud dad. <laughs> Proud dad. All right, question number two. All right, so this one's a vocab word from the book that you guys are going over, The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster. You familiar with that? Yes. Okay, spell precarious. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, boy. All right. 
Uh, Spell precarious. Uh, I'm, okay. What do you guys think? Okay, so no for menace. All right, yeah, no for menace. Easy putt. I'm I'm gonna double no. You're double knowing. Sammy yeah. sometimes throws in random stuff. Yeah. Uh, she looks like she's trying to find her confidence mm. here. Like she's like, I think I got it. Right. Uh, I will say, yeah, you know, I'm gonna go. I'll say, yeah, no for menace, yes for Sammy. I'll agree with Greg. All right. I'll agree mm-hmm. with Rave. Double no. Double no. I'll All be right. impressed if your daughter gets this. This is a tough word. All right, uh, menace. We're gonna start with you. All right. All right. So this one's a vocab word. From the book that you guys are going over, The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Juster. You familiar with that? Yes. Okay. Spell precarious. Oh, you said precarious or precarious? <laughs> <laughs> Can you define precarious? Oh, go ahead, Menace. Yeah. Spell I thought precar- he said precarious. Can you define well, it? Write down what you got. Well, you can, yeah, you can. I now wrote, that you heard it differently. Yeah, uh, I, well, I'll just change the B to a P. P E R C A R U S. Precarious. Precarious. <laughs> I thought he right. said Still precarious. looking for that precarious definition. Have you heard the word precarious? Uh, I thought that's what you said. Maybe it's a word I never heard before. Yeah, he heard you say it. Yeah, I heard right. you say it. Sammy, you've heard the word before? I have heard the word before. Okay, how, how do you spell it? P-R-E-C-A-R-I-O-U-S. There you go. Noise. Precarious. Precarious. Precarious? Yeah, it's not precarious. Precarious. Spell precarious. P R E C. A R I O U S. Nice. Precarious. Oh. Nice job. Now, follow up question. What does, because it's one of your vocab words, what does precarious mean? All right. Menace, no. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he knows what precarious means. Yeah. Menace, no. Uh, Sammy, well, she's familiar with the word. Right. She can explain what it means. I'll say yes for Sammy, no for menace. Agreed. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. All right. Uh, so what does what does it mean, menace? Uh, to be curious about things. To be curious. Okay. All right, Sammy. Is it when like you're sort of acting older than you are, like a kid acting older? If you no, no, it's like it's by curious. Like if you ever hear like he's in a really precarious situation. <laughs> oh, what word am I thinking of? So you, based on that, what would <laughs> you, what would your guess curious. be, menace? <laughs> Say it again. Like if someone's in a precarious situation, like ah, it's kind of in a precarious situation. Ah, uh, a bad situation, maybe like iffy, iffy, like tr- risky, tr- tricky, risky. Yeah, right. Like, oh, that's yeah, a precarious situation know. there. Yeah. Yep, it's not stable. All right, here we go. Now, follow up question: What does? Because it's one of your vocab words. What does precarious mean? Um, it means it's something like dangerous or risky. Very good. Wow. There you go. Wow, nailing nice. it. Boom. All right. That's my girl. Nailing it. Killing it. All right, this is my eleven-year-old daughter. She's in fifth grade. These are fourth mm-hmm. and fifth grade level questions. We're seeing how she does. Are you thinking pretentious? Pre- no, pretentious. That's not what you're no, that's also no? not what you're thinking. Yeah. Precocious. Oh, maybe it's that one then. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that maybe. Right. Greg just let, me, let her right into what she was uh-huh. thinking. Maybe. If that's let me what look you're it thinking. up. <laughs> All right. Uh, question number three. All right, here we go. How many Great Lakes are there? Ooh. Um. I don't uh, know why I'm confident with this one. You are? I'm going to double yes it. I'll go double no. Yeah, I'm with Woody. Really? Okay. Double no, double no, and then you're saying double yes? I am. You sure? Wow. Yeah. You want to change your answer? No. <laughs> Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes. Wow. Someone does not want to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> and I know this is a repeater, I think, yeah. from the past, but I have faith. All right. Obviously. Here, all right, here we go. All right, here we go. How many Great Lakes are there? Sammy? Three. Three. I wrote down, initially I wrote down three, and then I wrote down six. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> five. The answer five. is five. We, we tried to bring you over, Greg. I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. but I thought they would, mm-hmm. well, I don't know if there's going to be a follow-up. I'll hold my commentary. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. How many Great Lakes are there? Twelve. Less. Ten. Less than ten. Wow, five. Five. There she goes. That doesn't. I don't know why you're excited. It doesn't count. You didn't get that one right. That one's wrong. Less. You said twelve. 
No, I said five. No, you said five <laughs> last. The answer is five, but you said 12, then you said 10. Uh-uh. I said five. Oh. Nope. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sounds it. like somebody we know. Yeah, right. Well, technically, uh, <laughs> nope. Y'all heard it. Yeah. All right. Wow. Next question. My 11-year-old daughter. Oh, wait. Was there no follow-up to that? There was no follow-up to that. Oh, I thought, so uh, naming a Great I Lakes, you, not a follow-up? I no, I didn't do a follow-up for all of them. Remember that what you learned in kindergarten, it's Holmes, H-O-M-E-S. That's how you remember. Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior, Holmes. Hmm. Great look Lakes. At the bl- look yeah. at the blank stairs. Interesting. Great. <laughs> Check out those huh? blank stairs. Yeah. Uh, what? Still wouldn't got it, but thank All right. you. <laughs> Next question. All right, how about this one? How long does it take the Earth to rotate on its axis? Hmm. In in a given time? I don't understand the question to be You honest. don't? How long does it Oh, like one rotation? All right, how about this one? How long does it take the Earth to rotate on its axis? This is directly from the homework. That's a poorly written question. No. It came Way directly to go, fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. It came directly from our homework. I mean, I, I understood. I what mean, it I got what they were going for. Yeah. Uh I will say double no. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Really? Now I'm the one who has like faith in them. Yeah. I mean I hope, but I'm saying double yes. Double yes. Okay. All right, here we go. We'll start with you, Sammy. All right, how about this one? How long does it take the earth to rotate on its axis? One year. One year. Menace. I say 24 hours. 24 oh, hours. Oh, no, I'm menace. thinking like trips around the sun, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, yeah Rota- that's like what I thought one the rotation question. of the earth. It's yeah. a poorly right? worded oh, question. One yeah. trip around the sun. Right, yeah. Like on its That'll one rotation one long on its axis. Day. <laughs> They're leaving out some <laughs> yeah. key words like okay. one full rotation right. would, be, would be a better question. Yeah, I mean, well, I read it and I understood it why yeah. I asked the question okay. that way. But no, You guys are just being too... To uh, lax with the mm-hmm. school system. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, should de- you should demand better. Good job, Menace. Yeah. Thank you. Menace, Menace finally got one. Menace got a point. Here's my yeah. daughter. How long does it take the Earth to rotate on its axis? Twenty-four hours. Which is equal to a day. A day. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Next question. Who are the four presidents represented on Mount Rushmore? Double no. Double no. Ravi. Hiroshima no? Hiroshima. <laughs> I'll go Nagasaki no. Okay. okay. On this one, I will uh, give them a second to work out their answers over there. They're both uh, still writing. All right. Yeah, we're going to be here a while. You think so? Yeah. Has Menace moved or did he fall asleep? He looks completely he, he's, he's he's focused. motionless. He's focused. Okay. I can't see what his hand's doing over there. Probably a good thing. Yeah, it's writing. All right. His pen is down. All right, Sammy's Menace's pen up. is down. All right, Sammy, Sammy. about ready? Mm-hmm. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Still writing? Still writing. <laughs> Jeez. It's okay. a lot of names. Well, you... yeah, I mean, now I guess I just got to put one down that I know is not it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the four presidents represented on Mount Rushmore? All right. Menace. I put Washington, Lincoln, Jackson, Garfield. Ooh, you got right. two out of the four. What'd you write down? Washington, Roosevelt, Truman, and Lincoln. You got three Ooh, you out got of the four. Three. Nobody got Jefferson. Jefferson. Thomas yeah. Jefferson. Nobody got Jefferson. Who are the four presidents represented on Mount Rushmore? Washington. Yep. Roosevelt. Yep. Mm-hmm. Jefferson. Jefferson. And um, Lincoln. You got it. Hey-o. All right. Hey-o. Hey-o. Bet, bruh. I thought you were going to get that one wrong. This is cap. See? <laughs> bet. This is bet, bruh. I mean, that bet, is a, bruh. That's not a... That's what I told her. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. All right. Cap. All right. So we, we have a little trivia question uh, challenge going on here. It's my 11-year-old fifth grader and uh, Menace and Sammy. We have some more questions, but we got to take a break. All right. Okay. You want to do more after the yeah, break? Yeah, the or? Mount Rushmore <laughs> took, took a while. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of writing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of into, thinking like, and writing. We could have gotten like two more questions. Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do more after the break? You want to call? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Glad you like it. Love 877-44, it. Love it. what is the number?
Hit us up with a text over to 22987. Yeah, precocious is what uh, a lot of people are on the text. Yeah, precocious. Saying that's the uh, the word that uh, Sammy was trying of, yeah. for instead of uh, precarious. Or mm-hmm. pretentious. Yeah. Or pretentious. Or pretentious. <laughs> or burcarious. Or burcarious. Menace didn't even know the word. Burcarious. <laughs> Sound like it. Or bi curious. Got some uh, more questions here. It's my 11 year old daughter. Isn't she cute? She's doing great. Too cute. Yeah. Uh, she's in fifth grade, and I asked her some trivia questions. Yeah, someone said, good job on this uh, bit, Woody. Fun, and she's so cute. Oh, babe, thank you. Aww. Woody's daughter is awesome. One question, public or private school? She is in private school, so not the public education that uh, Sammy and Menace uh, came up through. That I came up through. Really. I came through it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we changed them during COVID because we actually wanted yeah. them to learn something. Yeah. Uh, this one says, uh, great segment, enjoying it tremendously. So let's get back to the questions. These are uh, all questions, fourth, fifth grade level. A lot of them were from her homework. And um, and so we'll see how Menace and Sammy do against someone who is uh, actually in that stage of their education. Right. right. All right. Next question is, what type of gas do plants absorb? Okay. All right. What type of gas is absorbed by plants. I will double no this. Really? Double no? I want to double. I want to double. I want to double yes. Uh, but they are still taking a very long time. Yeah. You're still right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to. Mm. I'll harken back to Sammy, few, come on. You know this, right? A few minutes Sammy? ago. Do you guys want to win the million dollars? I'm, yeah. I'm going to say no. All right. Double no. <laughs> Sammy, um, I have faith in you. Thank Man, you. Menace you never money. have faith in me. I, this yeah, is a first. Very rare. Wow. First. Very rare. <laughs> Mark it oh. down. Get a plaque to acknowledge this moment. And get a room. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, here nice. we go. What type of gas do plants absorb? Sammy. Carbon dioxide. Menace. Sammy is correct, but I wrote down hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy is correct, <laughs> but I wrote hydrogen. <laughs> you go, girl. Hydrogen, yeah. And hydrogen, yes. not so much. When he yeah. heard it, he was yeah. like, oh, right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here's what my daughter said. What type of gas do plants absorb? Carbon dioxide. Also known as? CO2. CO2, that's correct. Isn't that our thing upstairs? <laughs> Yeah, we have a carbon dioxide detector, like an alarm. Like a carbon monoxide. Mm, you know, monoxide. Like a, monoxide, monoxide, not yeah. dioxide. Wow, mm. giving your daughter Jeez. wrong info. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Good Let's job, see. Sammy. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to think. I've got a bunch more. I don't have enough time to do all of them. Here, well, uh, okay, we have, to, we have to do this one. All right, what is the only city in the U.S. that is not in any of the 50 states? Huh? All right, what is the only city in the U.S. that is not in any of the 50 states? There's a U.S. city that is not in any one of the 50 states. All right, got it. Oh. Does Greg know it? I know it. Ravy doesn't. Does, uh, easy. Ravy doesn't? No. Yeah. What I, is the only city in the U.S. Got that it. is not? Can I just say it? Wait, wait, hold on. We're going to go around the room Before on this one. Out, no, we're going to go around the room on this one. All right, what is the only city in the U.S.? That is not in any of the 50 oh, states. Okay. Oh, Ravy. Okay. I think I got it. I got it now. It's oh. DC. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did you got, giving you got, it away. They yes. were both smiling. Yeah. So I'm yeah. Assuming. yeah, because we got it right away. Yeah, you didn't let us just blurt it out before them. Yeah. A week. <laughs> <laughs> I was delayed getting it. You were yeah, delayed was, getting on that one? I got it delayed getting I got it right away because yeah. I'm not a dumbass. Like All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. What is the only <laughs> city in the U.S. that is not in any of the 50 states? Washington, D.C. Which is also the capital of what? The United States. Follow-up question. <laughs> yes, Bet. go. Bet. <laughs> All right. What does the D.C. in Washington, D.C. stand for? All right. Ooh. Will let's, Menace and Sammy go, know it? people. Yes, they will. It's the fourth time around. All, All right. At least. You got to let Sammy go first because Sammy. she's the one gets it wrong the most. Yeah, that's that's what happens. District of Columbia. Menace. She is correct. <laughs> she is correct. That All is right. right. All right, let me here's what my daughter said. What does the DC in Washington DC stand for? Dental community. No. Nice. Dental community. That's absolutely <laughs> oh, <yeah>. right. <laughs> yep. 
dental community. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's just, a city full of dentists. Well, she just went to the dentist like two days ago. Uh-huh. So, it's, so kind it's of, on the brain. It's kind of on the brain. All right, here. I, I gave her an opportunity to ask one question that oh, she had for okay. Menace and Sammy. Oh, okay. good. All right, here we go. All right, you get to ask Menace and Sammy a question about anything to see if they know it. What's your question for them? Okay. Um, when you look at a horse's foot... What is the what is the V called in the middle of their foot? All right, so if you pick Ooh. up a horse's foot uh-huh. and you look at the bottom of their hoof, right, their their foot, yeah, there's a V in the yeah. bottom of the foot. What is that called? That's what she's asking. Oh you, man. man, I've cleaned those many times. You get this little uh, like a pick, yeah, pick thing. Yep. Um, what's it called? She though? loves horses, so of course yeah. it's a horse question. It's called. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna put hoof. Hoof. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Sammy. Glue. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe eventually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, when you look at a horse's foot, what is the what is the V called in the middle of their foot? Whoa. You are so gonna get this wrong. I don't even know what that's called. What what is it called? A frog. That's what it's really oh. called, a frog. That's the technical name for it? <laughs> yes. I've been riding horses for four years. All right, is that oh. true? Like, it's called a frog. It's not like the slang name for it? <clears throat> Sir. All right, sure enough, the frog <laughs> is a V-shaped structure that extends forward across about two-thirds of the sole. Its thickness grows from the front to the back, and at the back it merges with the heel, whatever that is. I don't know, <laughs> periable. <laughs> Do you know what that word is? Period. It's not period. <laughs> period. <laughs> All right, well, you're right. Frog was the right answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's, it's oh, crazy though. Like uh, older horses, they you just go walk up to them and they'll put it. Their yeah, they'll leg, lift their leg right itself. On, oh, they'll lift their leg and oh, put it right. Get this out of here. They want you to. Clear yeah, it. right yeah. on their your thigh. And they just clear it. Yeah. They know what you're doing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know cool. what you're here for. Yeah. You're here to pick the frog. You're here to pick my frog. Yeah. Pick my feet up. <laughs>